Oh, oh my word. Cool. Early excitement on the close range rod. Although, surely I didn't miss that. Come on guys, I can't have missed that one. I didn't miss it. It's just way smaller than the bite indicated it was gonna be. <laughs> that little thing wrapped that tip around. Madness, <laughs> look at it. Doubt it even go a pound. Anyway, first cast, in amongst the fish, on the close range rod. Not that we're doing a repeat of that video, but it's a start and it's a good one, and I'm happy. Oh. Well, that's proper slack. Did that do anything whilst I was away, guys? Other than go proper slack? Oh. Well, I can't believe that. So that was on my distance rod. And I did give it a fair old whack out there even smaller than the other one. And despite being hundreds of miles out to sea, that's managed to dislodge a six ounce grip lead and give me a massive drop back bite. And it's about, <laughs> I don't know, 10 ounces. It's gonna be a night of the tiny rays. But there we go. So um, I haven't really even got myself organized. Um, I haven't got my shelter up, I haven't got anything out. I thought I'd just chuck a couple of rods out and leisurely get ready and uh, two fish almost straight away that bodes well blimey I still can't get over the size of that right let's start this video again so where am I? <laughs> it's going to be just one of my after work chillaxing sessions down Southport to unwind, so no, uh, no massive game plan or no challenge today, I'm afraid. I mean, it's always challenging fishing, I suppose, you could argue. But anyway, so I thought I'd just come down. So I just leisurely chucked a couple of rods out. Fancied catching a ray. I haven't had a ray for a few sessions. Um, and before I could really get everything sorted out, I haven't even got me shelter up and my stuff away yet, I've had a ray on both rods. As a result. Um, so yeah, so it is literally an after work session. Very, very simple. I have completely ignored my advice from the one mackerel challenge where you don't need loads of bait. So today I've got three whole mackerel, uh, six squid and 30 sandals. Because <laughs> we you know, why not? Um, but I fancy a, a little ray. So I'm going to have a, a ray dabble for the first couple of hours. Um, I'm going to put one out as far as I can, one in close. A little bit like the uh, long range versus close range challenge. That was that epic night I had down here. Um, and then perhaps if I get a little bored of that, I'll do my big bass bait, my head and guts in the edge um, with my earth rig. And then I can kick back and relax. I might uh, do some very modern Christmas shopping and go online. I say modern, I mean, you know, lazy male. Christmas shopping. I can't quite decide which brand of power drill my wife wanted this year. Right, so back to basics. It's a bagnal bar with two O panel, circle hook at the top, sandal wrapped with squid, clipped up, blasted out there. And the close range rod is, of course, just a three hook flapper. Um, I actually caught that close range um, ray on a, on a just a little strip of squid. Just a thin strip of squid sort of weaved onto a hook quite leisurely. 
I did have sand on the other two hooks, but it came to the squid. Bosh. Let's launch it. Just gone slack. And down. Oh, that's a fish. <laughs> fish that's swimming towards me. There you go, look. <laughs> the best thing about catching fish like this close range. Even if they're not big, they just wrap the rod around. Excuse the silly grin. It's a triple shot. A micro whiting, a pouting, and a small lad. That was obviously what gave the, uh, the decent bite. Still not a big one. Slightly bigger than the last couple, possibly, if I'm being vaguely generous. Although I think I've caught enough rays to not try and claim that's a big one. There we go. Three fish on the second cast. Whoa. Game on. So I think I've decided already, 45 minutes into my session, to uh, have a change of plan. I'm going to stick one of the, uh, the head and guts out, one of the big bass baits out. I'm going to rebait this three-hit flapper, chuck that one out again, and then chuck a bass bait out. If there's pouting and whiting and things like that in close, some bait fish as we like to call them, um, then there's got to be some big fish as well, isn't there? That's the thinking. And I can always alternate if I want to. I can alternate between long range and close range on the one rod. It's a terrible problem to have, you know, too many fish. I'm not entirely convinced I haven't got a fish on that one again. Looks a bit slack. Right. Uh, Plenty of fish about tonight. Right. It's definitely go big or go home night. So that's my next cast. So probably on the, uh, the right hand rod as you're looking at them. Flop it in the gutter, 10 yards out. Again, if you haven't fished South Bond, it's a lovely beach because it sort of like shelves off nice gradual beach. But as soon as you go into the water, just a few feet out, it goes boop, and drops right off, or close. Um, so you've got a lovely sort of gully channel of uh, water running really close in. And if the bass are anywhere, I'm usually in there. Still getting uh, knocks and nibbles on that one. Well, that little uh, twitchy bite was another way, another small one. A form back this time, though. Variety. Variety is the spice of life, isn't it? Um, baby ray, number three, four, three. Okay. Oh, that's gone slack. Was that a bite? Were you guys paying attention? I clearly wasn't. Let me put this in a bucket of water. I have just put my bass bait out on the right hand rod. So if that goes, that could be exciting. Why has this gone slack? Has it just gone? Dragged in with a bit of swell or something. Or was it a bite? No, it's a bite. Cool, lots of fish around. It's nothing too exciting, so the rod's not getting dragged in the water, so I'll uh, deal with that fish first, get him back. And then I'll come back and see what's on that one. I was really looking forward to a relaxing session. I think I'll have to stop and take some layers off in a minute. I've uh, layered up accordingly, middle of December, four degrees. Oh. There you go, little thorny. Those thorns. Damn vicious things. Wouldn't want to tread on that, would you? 
How's it gone again since I've been gone? What do we think, guys? What are we calling? I thought he was on the strip of squid again. Could have saved himself a fortune and just bought squid tonight. Right, that's been bouncing around for long enough. What have we got? Oh, there's a little bit more than a, a pout. Maybe another little way. It is indeed. Another little way. What have we got this time? Another thorny. <laughs> what do you know? There we go, another little thorny. There's got to be a bigger one out there somewhere. What did that munch? Let's have a look. That munched a sandal. Shock horror. A cast without a ray. Saved by a mighty pouting. The mighty pouting has actually taken two hooks. The greedy thing. Unbelievable. I shall call it Jeff. Is this a fishy? Is this a fishy chewing on my rod? Let's have a little look. Oh my goodness me! I reckon that's a poor beagle shark. It's five fishies. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. A double shot of a whiting. Mostly unimpressive. And somewhere down here, a, another species for the evening, a dogfish, a mighty hound. Look at it, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I'd like to dedicate this dogfish, if I can dedicate fish. That's a new thing. Um, I'd like to dedicate this one to Connor, who is celebrating his 27th birthday tomorrow. Many happy returns, Connor. And I hope you receive something far more exciting than a small dogfish. If you don't, get some new friends and family. So I stuck to my plan of alternating casts, one in, one out, and I've had two out casts. Absolutely diddly squit. Nothing. Nada. Not a ding. Um, not even mildly chewed bait. So there. So if you want to come to South Wanna Catch Fish, don't bother casting very far. So it's uh, nearly nine o'clock and I was just thinking about you know, maybe maybe one more cast, maybe packing up soon, work early in the morning. And I'm looking at all this wonderful bait I'm just going to absolutely waste. If only someone had done a video demonstrating that you don't need to take loads of bait. Why didn't they do that? That'd have been really useful, right? You see? You see? I chuck it in close. Five minutes later. Whoa. Mr. Fishy Fish comes along. Ooh. Oh, what's that? Ooh. That's a much livelier fish than I was expecting. Or is it? Hmm. I think I just dropped something big there, guys. Picked up, went, pulled hard. Was thumping pretty strong. Now I've just got something small left on it. Yeah, I've got a... Seriously wounded, uh, seriously wounded whiting. I don't know what picked that up. Look at that slash marks down there, look. That's... That's been inside something quite big. Well, that was exciting. Obviously, would much rather have caught it, but 
briefly, that was quite entertaining. Because that's not a small biting. That's been entirely in a fish like that. Teeth, teeth, teeth. Don't go swimming down Southbourne. We're gonna need a bigger boat. So I'm thinking whatever that was, it's still out there. So my head and guts of mackerel has just come off. And it's being replaced with that other whiting that was still in one piece. Let's get that out there. Oh, we got a slacky again. What's it going to be this time? It's a... Uh, it's, oh, it's a mildly energetic fish. I think it might be a little ray. It's doing a little bit too much to be a whiting. But it's not the monster from the deep like last time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean, it's a fish. But it's not trying to pull the rod out of my hand like last time. Little tiny whiting that didn't get eaten by the monster. And um, a mildly better, slightly better small eyed. Put up a bit of a tussle, that one. Hey, oh, please. Right, I've done a little research. Um, all of you who like the video and subscribe to my channel, um, catch 21.7% more fish than those who don't. Uh, that is scientifically based and not complete, utter made up twaddle. Um, so, yes, yeah, so you know what to do. Hit the buttons and make me very happy. Thank you very much. I am going to have to go home, sadly. I don't want to, but I've stayed later than I planned already. Um, it's now quarter to ten, way past my bedtime. Um, the, uh, the beast, the beast I lost, kind of forced me to stay out a little bit longer than I wanted to. Um, and the fact that I hate going away when the fishing's good. I could stay all night catching fish. Um, anyway, I'm going home. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it. A um, few fish tonight, nothing big. Um, but a few fish, just a lovely evening on the beach, to be fair. You guys have got to get out in a minute, because the fishing's good. Um, I have a plan. Friday, I'm out on the boat with Jace. We've got a bit of a weather window. Um, it's not a northeasterly wind, so we don't have a wind chill factor of minus seven, thank goodness. Um, so we're going to get out there, crack a dawn again, and hopefully smash the bass. That's the plan anyway. Um, so I'll get this video out hopefully tomorrow, and um, we'll get out Friday filming on the boat, and hopefully get that one out over the weekend at some point. Um, and then we'll go again next week. I wonder what we'll do. Any suggestions? Put them in the comments. Cheers, guys. Whoa, 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 hang about. What was that? That's me not keeping my cool, that's what that was. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. He's picked up my whiting. Surrey Bob. Come on, baby. Right. We have to go down there, guys. Come on, baby. Oh. Yeah, of course it's a conga. Why wouldn't it be a conga? Genuinely thought 
That was going to be a big bass. These things are plaguing me, aren't they? They're ruining my bass fishing. It's a good fun fight. I mean, they, they, they scrap well. Not what I want, though. It has two eyes. It's not Willy. We're several miles away from where Willy is, but there we go. Not quite the end of the video I wanted, but at least I got something big in the end. Right.